Hello, good afternoon viewers. I am Okocha Happy Marcel and this is my channel. Yesterday, I heard a news when I said that the Lego team of the Liberal Party and Mr. Peter Obi have met with the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and they have been granted access to some induction materials and they were to take the rest materials that they needed today because they are having less than 10 days to fight this case um, against the Independent National Industrial Commission and APC challenging uh, the declaration of Bonda Ahmed Tinumbu as the president ended. But um, a lot of people do not believe. So for this reason, I am sharing the video of um, the conversation and the meeting they had that yesterday. And as I speak to you today, all hands are on ground and uh, the process of finding um, the application, the court of appeal is ongoing. So from now to tomorrow or next tomorrow, you will know the date that the court is going to hear the case of Mr. Peter will be challenging the Independent National Electoral Commission and APC. So it is a big time ahead. Stay close, watch the video. Let's meet at the end of the video. Thank you. The, the reason for seeking an audience with you is quite uh, present and very important and very fundamental. The reason being that we secured an order of the Court of Appeal to secure some documents to enable us to prosecute and maintain our election petition. That order was granted on the of March. So it is exactly 10 days today. The order will do this out on INEC. And um, as we all know, time is of the essence in electoral petitions, electoral matters. So we have virtually 10, 11 days within which we must file the petition less for less than 10 days. As I talk to you today, we have not gotten any document whatsoever. And it is important that under the law we are entitled to the documents we are asking for from the commission. And uh, unless, unless as electoral umpire we secure those documents, we cannot move forward. That is why it is so important that will interface with you and ensure that by the time we leave this commission today, Mr. Chairman, we will at least leave here with some of the crucial documents. In fact, our clients, the presidential candidates of Labour Party, Labour Party itself, and their supporters are so much agitated that if car is not taken, their petition will be, time will expire, and they will end up not filing petition. And that will be too bad for everybody, too bad for the commission, too bad for them, too bad for us, members of the legal council, and too bad for the country. That is why this visit is very important, Mr. Chairman. And, um, and, um, we know the very important documents we need. Maybe at the end of this uh, this visit, uh, we will let you know some of them that are so present that uh, we need to have them, as I said, today. Say that we received a letter from um, Onye, Onye Chik Piazu, senior advocate, uh, on behalf of the Labour Party. The letter is dated 6 March, and that uh, in the letter we were served notice that the team will be here on the 7th at 9 in the morning uh, to inspect the materials. But most specifically, the letter requested us to get in touch with our resident electoral commissioners across the 37 states of the Federation to make the documents and information available for the prosecution of their petition. 
A meeting has been scheduled with all the resident electoral commissioners. It's going to be a virtual meeting at 3 p.m. today, at which we'll discuss, among other issues, this matter of providing CTCs not only to the Labour Party, but to all other litigants as well. I want to assure you that the Commission will not hide any document from anybody and will make any document that they have requested. There are two categories of documents. Those that are in possession of the headquarters of INEC will easily make these documents available to you, specifically the EC8Ds from the states and the ECDA, which is the collection at the National Collection Center by the Commission itself, the EC8E, the declaration, so meaning a total of, I think, 39 documents. Uh, this we can easily certify and give you um, almost immediately. As for other documents that we are asking for, they are at state level. So we need to work out the schedule uh, so that we know when your team is going to which state and on which date. Uh, so that we can easily facilitate not just certification of documents, but also the inspection that you requested for of these documents. Uh, the other one is uh, accreditation data uh, from the back end. Uh, uh, this will also be made available to you. Uh, remember the accreditation data covers over 176,000 polling units. We have to print them physically, certify them, and give them to you. So the tall and short of what I'm saying is that you will get these documents speedily. You will, will also make arrangements and notify our resident electoral commissioners of your impending visit so that these documents will be made available to you at state level, those that are state level, uh, those that are at state level, including access to inspection of any category of materials. So I crave your indulgence to suggest that let your team interface with the legal team of the commission immediately. So you work these things out, and then we make all the documents available to you. But please be assured, the lead counsel, that INEC has nothing to hide. Whatever you are asking for will be made available to you. So I want to thank you uh, for coming. Uh, now the meeting will be between our technical people and you You just work things out so that whatever we need to facilitate as a commission so that you get this document that you require as a matter of urgency, I want to assure you that you will get them as a matter of urgency. So thank you so much. Um, um, senior advocate, uh, this meeting has been scheduled at short notice. CV because of the urgency. We have given you the assurances. Understand your legal language better. <laughs> uh, so that whatever, let me reassure you again, whatever you require for the prosecution of your petition will make this information available so to you. Hmm? This one is commission, it's not legal. If it's legal, I'll get uh, Mr. Kanimu. But there is, um, there is what you call in the law uh, electronic uh, register will make this available to you. Whatever documents are available at state level will also make the, these documents available to you. Because the document is not in the data, that's why I'm drawing Mr. Chairman. No, that's why I said I think it's better you just interface with the legal team and sort these things out. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, the lead counsel to P2B and the Labour Party presidential legal team. We are here because um, we have not received any electoral document from INEC that will enable us to file petition on behalf of our clients. 
And as you all know, election petition is time sensitive. We have 21 days to file petition on behalf of our clients. Out of that 21 days, we probably have about 10 days to go. And up to now, we have not received any documents. Less than 10 days. We have, we have written to INEC requesting for the documents. Apart from that, the Court of Appeal made an order on the 3rd of March ordering INEC to release those documents to us, but we haven't received any. Hence, we requested for a meeting with the chairman of INEC. And he graciously granted us uh, that audience within a very short notice. And he has given us assurance, concrete assurance on, on record, that all documents we require will be made available. And uh, if possible, some of them will be made available to us today. So, and uh, we, 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 we believe that that will happen. And we are living here rest assured that, I mean, out of this hall, by the time we leave any premises, that the documents, would, at least we live with some documents. And the rest could then come from tomorrow, next, and so on and so forth. Are you for that, that uh, you are running against the and you have enough time to do? Very much bothered. And I made that point when we met with uh, the chairman, that not only that our clients are bothered and agitated, but also we, members of the Duke Council, are bothered. Members of LP Labour Party are bothered. Their supporters are bothered and restive. In fact, it's been taking a lot to calm them down to exercise patience that we are going to get the documents because the court of the land has ordered the documents to be given to us. Now, the concerns you talked about some documents coming from the state level. How do you feel about it? Well, uh, some documents will come from the state level, but we do not think it will take eternity for those documents to come. Meanwhile, there are those that are domiciled here at the headquarters. Those ones we can go away with today. Okay. Today. One thing is to make the promise. Another thing is to keep it. What if eventually these documents are not made available as at when due? That will be a national calamity. Why do I say that? Not making the documents available, we create the impression that INEC is deliberately frustrating us. That's just the impression it will create to make sure that we cannot prosecute this petition. But listening to the chairman a, a short while ago and all the assurances I want to give him, or we want to give him the benefit of the doubt that we will get some of them today. At least if we get some of them today, that is indicative that we will get some of that documents from tomorrow, next tomorrow, to enable us to file this petition. So on a scale of zero to ten, rate your confidence in the chairman's assurances. Um, I'm not God. <laughs> And, I, and, and, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to play God. And uh, Macbeth said that there is no act to find a man's construction on the face. Having said that, the way and manner the chairman spoke, I'm confident that he would keep to his words. You know, because he said so, and you gentlemen captured him adequately. And that means that in the next uh, few minutes or an hour, the rest of the con this country will get to hear about it. I'm yeah, confident. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Levy was of SAN. Please, let's talk to the... Thank you, sir. Yeah. The period of time that we give an ultimatum. Remember, we made a press conference citing that um, we will not fail to mobilize our members to come out to march on the streets of INET, in offices of INEC nationwide. And graciously, the chairman of INEC, having read that particular statement, has granted us an opportunity to come into his office and liaise with him, and he has assured the team of lawyers that they are going to present those documents. So we want to wait and see the responses of our legal team. It is the legal team that will give us the marching order when they are satisfied with what they have received from INEC. 
so that our members nationwide and worldwide will be satisfied that we, they, we are doing our job and they are ready to prosecute this case accordingly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.